Hey there, my unicorn friend. Have you heard? About Princess Twilight Sparkle's coronation? Who hasn't? I'm on my way there now. So much baking to do and... No, no. About the Earth Ponies. I know their crops have been underperforming, but... Uh... That's not it. They're hoarding the food for themselves. I heard the mayor of Appaloosa say that if unicorns and pegasi want to eat, they can use their own hooves to dig. How awful! We unicorns have to stick together, right? <laughs> ah, Chrysalis. Another successful field trip, I presume? Spreading distrust among the unicorns and earth ponies is almost too easy. We could take down Twilight and her friends a hundred times, but as long as they have the love of Equestria behind them, they'd crawl back to defeat us. Not anymore. No friendship, no magic. It's so obvious when you think about it. I did my part freaking out the Pegasi. And Grogar's long absence has given me time to prepare the next part of our plan. Grogar's bell. This artifact can steal any creature's magic. It holds that magic until it is released by this spell. Which means all the power inside is ours for the taking. You're drooling on the bell. Let's try the spell before Grogar gets back. I'm sick of waiting for that old goat's master plan. Take my hand. So we can all be part of the spell. Unless you'd prefer I take all the magic myself. Our pact stands. What we do, we do together. Once we defeat the protectors of Equestria, we can claim this land and rule our kingdoms alone once more. have returned. Twilight Sparkle's coronation is today, and we are going to ruin it with this artifact. But to succeed, you must work together. Oh, way ahead of you, Grogar. Why didn't you tell me? We're villains, duh. That was unexpected. Wait, Discord was Grogar? Like the whole time. Should we follow him? Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. Doesn't she look so adorably regal up there? Our little Twilight, all grown up. Should we tell her that we've cleared out our royal suite so she and Spike can move in? Oh, maybe wait until after the coronation. Twilight doesn't need anything else to worry about today. So, you freaking out yet? About what? Oh, I don't know. It's not every day the princesses that have ruled Equestria for hundreds of moons retire and pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. Oh, that. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good. 
We've all faced so much and come out okay. I know we're up to the challenge of keeping Equestria safe and happy. There's nothing we can't handle together. Which reminds me... Royal Advisor? What's that? A new position I created for you. You've been at my side for every step of this journey. Knowing I had you to count on gave me the strength I needed to grow and succeed. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks, Twilight. You know I'll always be your right hoof dragon. I was hoping you'd say that, because now that my crown's been fitted, we have some royal errands to run. Are you sure this is where Pinky told us to get the blackberries for her special coronation dessert? Maybe they keep their produce in the back? Nope, this is all we got. But I got a special on these taters. Uh, um, no thank you. We'll keep looking. More. Oh, Twilight, darling, you're just in time. Only one more pre-coronation stop. We're picking up the final touch for your apres hors d'oeuvre gown. Is that before or after the Royal Marshmallow Eating Contest gown? What? I haven't made one of those! You must tell me when they add these sorts of things. <laughs> it's okay, Rarity. I was just joking. Joking? Day of her coronation? You've come a long way, Twilight. Well, that's odd. They look open. What do you want? Oh, well, this being a thread shop, I thought I might buy some? Put the bits in the mail slot. What was that about? You know, designers don't like being interrupted when they're on a creative roll. Oh, we thread this exquisite, can you blame them? Weather for the coronation is sunny skies. It was weird, though. Not many Pegasi wanted to help me clear the clouds. They were kind of on edge. They're not the only ones. It's the first shift in royal power in over a millennium. Of course every pony is a little jumpy. Change does that. But I'm sure it's not because they're worried about you. How could they be? How many times have you saved their flanks by now? You're right. I'll just have to let every pony know that even with Celestia and Luna gone, we'll make sure things stay the same. Twilight! There you are! You mind telling your friend here that I don't need an official guard wherever I go? Especially if he ain't gonna help carry apples? I appreciate you taking such good care of my friends, but we're fine now. It was the strangest thing. He kept calling me Earth Pony. Like I didn't have a name. And watching me like he thought I'd steal the silver. Do not go in that kitchen! You look like you were in a sugar war. For some reason, the bakers are super grouchy with each other. That unicorn chef started throwing dessert at Mrs. Cake! I tried to help, but I got caught in the crossfire! Tasty, tasty crossfire. Are you sure this is just pre-coronation nerves? Oh! My aching metatarsals. You know, you forget how convenient snap travel is. Wait, did you just walk here? On foot? Yes, actually. And I have a confession to make. You see, I might have made the teeniest boo-boo. All very well-intentioned and noble on my part, of course, Get but... to the point, Discord. Uh, you remember that whole thing with King Sombra? That was slightly my fault, and by slightly, I mean, I brought him back. You did? But why? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, which is why I also brought back three other villains who are now on the loose and not really big fans of yours. So, uh, my bad. <gasps> Let me get this straight. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and T-Rex to attack her? Don't forget Sombra. And while you united these three villains, you pretended to be Grogar? Discord, how could you do this to Twilight and us? Look what a great job you did defeating Sombra. All the confidence you gained. Remember the cheering, the hoof bumps? Except it was all a lie. A well-intentioned lie. For all the time you spent with us, you really haven't picked up too much in the way of friendship lessons, huh? 
You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? None of our successes were actually real. Of course they were. You just had an extremely good-looking safety net. And how was that supposed to help again? I intended to prepare Twilight for anything by orchestrating an epic attack at her coronation. You beastly beast! Don't you know how much this day means to Twilight? And me? I made her dress! Why wait until now for such a horrible plan? You don't take a final exam on your first day of class. Just think, after defeating three baddies, Twilight would have to believe that she's the leader we all know she is. You have made a grave misjudgment, Discord. Do you have anything else you would like to tell us? Would you like the good news or the bad news? That wasn't the bad news. All my chaos magic is gone, trapped in Grogar's bell. So what's the good news? Chrysalis, T-Rex, and Cozy Glow now have all of the real Grogar's magic. In what world is that good news? Compared to me losing my powers, anything else is good news. Twilight, Luna, we need to make a plan. Maybe it's not too late to stop this disaster from happening. I... I need some time to think first. Well, there isn't any time. Look what I overheard them saying. Oh, just listen to my voice and use your imagination. Let the fool go. Without magic, he's no threat. Besides, we have plans. The lame six are so busy being perfect, they haven't even noticed what we've been up to. Have I mentioned how great revenge is? Oh, I hope you got a name picked out for your future kingdom, because it's time to destroy Equestria. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably on their way to attack Canterlot right now! Then we'll stop them! How? Stopping Sombra by himself was hard enough, and that was with Lord of Chaos training wheels! Twilight, it doesn't matter if Discord set up your successes or not. We believe in you, and always have. Lean on your strengths to counter your weaknesses. My strengths? Right, Spike! Send a letter to Star Swirl. Tell him we need the pillars to guard the borders of Canterlot. If the villains are coming for a fight, we'll have one waiting for them. With Chrysalis on the loose, she'll go after Starlight. Worn Cadence and Shining Armor. They're our final line of defense if we fail. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We're not going anywhere until you two stop arguing. Chrysalis, say something nice about T-Rex. No, oh, he's red. T-Rex? She's uh, not as annoying as I expected. Good. Now we were talking about Grogar's bell. We should take the magic inside it. You know how powerful Discord was. That much chaos magic in our veins. But taking it all would be madness. It's impossible for any other creature to control. I guess if you need a guinea pig to find out if any pony can use chaos magic, I'll volunteer. <laughs> Now I have more power than all of you! Kneel before my fight! <laughs> I still think chaos magic is a good idea. Leave it in the bell. We've got a kingdom to conquer. So, where should we strike first? <laughs> Everywhere. We've faced enemies of Equestria before, and we've always succeeded. That wouldn't be possible without all of you. You're welcome. Dude, read the room. So I ask for your help again today in what is our biggest battle yet. All of Equestria is at stake. And I can't do this alone, but I'm not afraid. Because with friendship as our armor and teamwork as our power, no pony can ever bring us down. Oh, come on! 
Where'd you get that? A daily affirmations calendar? Yeesh. Cozy Glow? You're about to wipe the floor with you! <gasps> wow, it's true! Alicorns really do have more fun! Spread out and stay ready, friends. Canterlot depends on us. to a legendary meal. Stay with your buddy, no running. Just follow Counselor Trixie. Starlight, star bright. Where's the pony I want to fight? I have to go. You got this? No pony does a great and powerful escape like Trixie. Just the head mare I want to see. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> what is this place? Somewhere you can't hurt any pony. Wrong. I can hurt you! <laughs> Stay still so I can blast you. Oh yeah, real motivating. <laughs> You'll pay for that! Put it on my tab. Now I'll have all eternity to take my revenge on you. <laughs> Stand down, Cozy Glow. Gee, I guess I could, but... I'm having too much fun! <laughs> Ready, sister? Wait, what are you... <laughs> with you magic types. You're so reliant on all your special power, you forget to use your brains! Keep telling yourself that. Now! Whoa! Surprise attack! <laughs> Fly, my pretties!
think your pathetic shield can stop us? <laughs> the pillars have been defeated. Your school is abandoned. Face it, Twilight. You've lost. You can attack us, and we may fall. But Equestria will still stand, united in friendship. And we won't stop until we defeat you, no matter how many ponies you take down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you all notice something was wrong in Equestria? We've been busy. A whisper here, a rumor there. Destroy some crops, cause some damage. Turn pony against pony. Until your whole kingdom is on edge, waiting for just one tiny thing to push them over the brink. There's no backup friends or rainbow magic to save you now. Golly, I think it's time for some redecorating. What's stronger than friendship, Twilight? Fear! Because when you have to protect yourself, you don't have time for any pony else. Too bad you never taught that in school. Not every day the princesses pass all their responsibilities on to you and your friends. You wanted to boost Twilight's confidence, so you brought that Chrysalis, Cozy Glow, and t rex to attack her? Discord was Grogar? You've been setting up challenges for us the whole time, haven't you? My bad. The ultimate battle for the fate of Equestria is coming. We'll hold them till you get back. Ah, you fool! Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? And now for your complete destruction. Won't that be fun? Patience, Cozy. Destruction is so... permanent. We need to show the rest of Equestria that we've broken their heroes first. Besides, we should have fun with our guests. No! We should hunt down Twilight Sparkle. As long as she's out there, she's dangerous. Is that big, strong minotaur that scared of one little pony? Relax. It's not like her friends are going anywhere. The fools brought the remains of my throne to Canterlot to protect themselves. <laughs> Those shards block their magic. Careful, too close and the shards cancel even our powers. But on this side of the cavern, we're the most powerful beings in Equestria. Thanks to Grogar's bell. Isn't that right, Grogar? What are you doing? You saw what happened when you tried to take Discord's chaos magic. Yeah, but there's Alicorn Princess magic in there now, too. I could be so much more powerful if I just could have... What do you mean, you could be? Um, hello? I'm the best one out of all of us. Nobody sees me. What are you talking about? The best at what? This is really bad. We gotta find Twilight. She's probably already figured out some way to defeat those monsters. Any idea how we get out of here to do that? Too sticky. There's no way any pony could get through this. I'm so sorry. 
It made so much sense in my head. Twilight defeats her worst enemies and is filled with confidence. I truly did have the best intentions. I swear I'll make it up to you. That's gonna need to be a pretty epic makeup. Stay away from the bell, you pest! None of us can use the Alicorn's magic until we figure out how to handle that fool's ridiculous chaos magic! I could always tell you how. It would give you power over all reality, but you'd have to ask nicely and spare my friends. No, Discord! This isn't the way to help! Discord, could you please? Threats are more my speed. Speak! He's lying. He won't tell us. I certainly won't tell you after the way you lied to me last time we teamed up, you muscle-bound cretin. This cretin could destroy you before you blink, so choose your words carefully. You're right. Cretin is too polite. How about pathetic centaur, who uses magic to compensate for the fact that deep down, he's afraid he'll never be enough to please dear old dad, King Vorak? <laughs> you missed! Did he, though? Get her! Get Twilight! No way! She's always needed you guys! Twilight. We may not have our magic, but we aren't completely helpless. We'll hold them off as long as we can. That was a pretty epic makeup. Just save Equestria and keep Fluttershy safe. Why are you out in the open? Hide! Where is every pony? The unicorns have been gathering in Celestia's School of Magic ever since the attack. That's where I was headed when I saw you. What about the Earth Ponies and Pegasi? It's every pony for themselves. That ain't right. Well, you can all stand out here and debate. I'm going where I'm safe. Chrysalis was telling the truth. They really have turned ponies against each other. Every pony's scared, that's all. We just need to get to Ponyville and find Twilight pronto. She'll know how to set things right. Please, stay calm! I know it seems bad, but there's no need to panic! Give us one good reason not to! <laughs> because Ponyville's own heroes of Equestria are here to save us! Where'd all these ponies come from? Earth Pony's been pouring in looking for somewhere safe. We don't have unicorn magic to protect us. We're a city in the sky to hide it like those cowardly Pegasi. <gasps> cowardly? They're blocking clouds down. Said they didn't want any grounded ponies up in their business. Listen up, buddy. Don't. That's exactly what Chrysalis and the others want. More fighting. We know you're scared. We're here to help. Oh, you better fix this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Twilight's probably as worried as every pony else and trying to find somewhere safe. That's why I was sure she'd be waiting for us in Ponyville. Where else could she be? <gasps> I know where Twilight is! Oh, thanks, Celestia, you're all all right. She's upstairs. It's not good. You're here? I was so worried. Where are the princesses? They put up a crazy fight so we could escape and find you! Mission accomplished! Now let's save they made a terrible mistake. You all did. From the second I got away, I've been searching every book, scroll, and spell for a way to rescue you and stop Chrysalis, t rex and Cozy, but I haven't found anything. I failed. You'll come up with something. We can't save Equestria without you. You all escaped without my help. You didn't need me then, so why would any pony need me now? We know things look bad, but we've been in tough spots before, and we all... Look around. Nothing we've ever done has mattered. 
Sombra, Return to Destroy the Tree of Harmony, Chrysalis, T-Rex, Cozy Glow, returned and more powerful than ever. The School of Friendship, shut down. Every pony in Equestria is so blinded by fear they can't remember what friendship is. Nothing we do makes any difference. But we're still free and together. And it's not like things could get any worse. <laughs> Haven't we learned never to say that by now? The Wendigos! That's just a heartwarming Eve story. Creatures made of wind that spread cold and misery across the land to punish ponies? Seems pretty real to me! Let the Pegasi deal with this. There's nothing we can do except hide. <laughs> That's enchanted wind! We can't control it, and we can't rely on those snooty unicorns for any help. Build up the cloud bank! We'll try to block it! What about every pony down below? They're on their own. We all are. Fortify the shields around the School of Magic. We need to protect ourselves. It's all we can do. We have to do something! I've already done enough. You want the truth, Twilight? Bad things happen. No matter what you do, there's never gonna be a time when everything's perfect. But that don't mean you quit trying. What if I make things worse? Ever since Celestia told me I was taking over, I've been gaining confidence. Then I find out it's all a lie. Equestria's been falling apart around us and I didn't even notice. What kind of princess does that make me? I'm scared. I probably know more about being scared than any pony. But thanks to all of you, I've learned I'm always less scared when I'm with my friends. If we're facing impossible odds, we're facing them together! It's what we always do, darling. But we're on our own, and we have no idea what to do. That's true pretty much every time something terrible is about to happen. We don't have the elements of harmony anymore. How can you all be so calm about this? Because even if you don't believe you can do this, we do. We believe in you. In us. The truth is, all our lives wouldn't be the same if we hadn't met. We're better off because of our friendship with you. So when you say you haven't made a difference, that's just not true. You've made a big difference to us. Thank you. Sometimes even the princess of friendship needs a reminder that there's more to the magic of friendship than rainbow lasers. Although, that part is pretty cool. We still need a plan. That sounds like the pony I used to full sit for. Count us in. No, you need to stay here and protect Flory Heart. If we don't, if things don't work out, she's Equestria's last hope. Okay, three of our worst villains have taken over. Powered up by ancient magic. Every pony in Equestria is so scared and divided that the Windigos are circling. And it's up to us to fix it all. What are we gonna do, Twilight? The same thing we do every time, Pinky. Try to save the world. Every prisoner is safely in their cells. Now we can hunt down the rest of the... Windigos? I'm not hunting any pony d d d d d down in this weather. Can't we magically get rid of them and w w warm things up? I don't think we should. This could work out quite well for me. You mean us. The harsh weather is the final blow to break the ponies' spirits. Once Equestria is a frozen wasteland, we'll use our magic to destroy those windy beasts. Ponies will be so grateful they'll do whatever I want. The Windigos are ancient magic. It would be unwise to leave them unchecked. Best we deal with them now. We probably should deal with Twilight and her friends before anything else. I thought it was too cold for you to hunt any pony down. We don't need to. They're right there! You think they know we're here? I'd say they have an idea. Celestia and Luna's magic inside. 
If they use it against us, Discord's magic is so chaotic, he's the only one who can use it. You just can't accept that you were beaten before you even realized there was a fight, can you? You can't beat us if we never give up. As long as I have my friends by my side, I'll put my faith in friends. Uh, can we get on with this, please? We need to get that bell and get Discord and the princesses their magic back. Rainbow Dash, Pinky, you're with me. Sweet! I'll grab that bell in ten seconds! No, we're the distraction. They're gonna get the bell. Come out, come out, wherever you are! There! Dragon's wings get plucked. Ah! Please, don't hurt him. Don't worry about me. Just say no. Ah! Turns out that the magic of friendship is your biggest weakness. A fitting end to your pathetic story. No matter what, we face it together. Can I open my eyes? You sure can! Way to go, Twilight! It's not me! Shield will hold. I don't understand. How are you all here? That's kind of our fault. You know those long lectures about friendship you gave at school? <laughs> we all know the story of Hearts Warming Eve. We can defeat the Windigos together. You really think if we all sing a couple songs, everything will be fine? It's not just singing that saved the founders of Equestria. It's what it represented. Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi becoming friends. We learned at Twilight School that friendship is the most powerful magic there is. Focusing on our differences keeps us divided. Villains and creatures like the Wendigos use that division against us. Yaks strong, ponies strong, but yaks and ponies stronger together. Yaks must be loyal to pony friends. I know helping other creatures by being kind and generous sounds lame, but I've seen how powerful it can be. Playing together, singing together, even laughing together. That's what real heroes look like. Were we really happy by ourselves at the bottom of the ocean? Be honest. It's the ponies that showed us a better way. They've taught us how powerful love and the magic of friendship truly is. We can't let them stand alone. We're their friends. They need us. How about that? It's just like you said the day we opened that school. The more creatures who know about friendship, the safer we'll be. We told you you had it all figured out! Enough! Because of you, I almost lost my way. But every creature here has reminded me of the true power of friendship. 
There will always be darkness in the world, but there will also always be those who find the light. The pillars knew this. That's why they created the elements of harmony. The elements showed me and my friends how strong our friendship could be. Together we work to bring harmony to Equestria, but there will always be more to do, which is why we teach others about the magic of friendship, others who will continue our mission after we are gone. Now I truly understand. The elements were just symbols. The real magic has always been right here, and the more who understand how powerful friendship is, the stronger we will all be. Together. you we will always return nothing will ever stop you. chocolate rain don't look at me pinky you took discord's magic from the bell how do you feel hmm, tingly itchy also like I can transform the cosmos so everything is made of icing! Perhaps, maybe I should... Later, there's some chaos in my zoo. <laughs> isn't a punishment worthy of all you've done. You know what I'm doing? I'm dipping. Oh, that does seem fitting. May I help, please? Together forever. I can't think of anything that they would want less. When I sent you to Podyville, I had high hopes. When you became Princess of Friendship, I knew I made the right choice. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You are ready. You know what? I think I am. Thank goodness. A first question, Your Highness. What do we do with all these creatures? We're gonna need a lot more chairs for the coronation. Actually, as ruler of Equestria, I'd like to postpone the coronation for a while. At least until the castle's rebuilt. Besides, there's something we need to do first. Mm, Post-apocalyptic donuts. Interesting choice. I know. But there's going to be plenty of time for all the challenges and struggles and adventures to come. For now, I just want to spend a quiet moment with the six best friends I've ever had. Well, mostly quiet. It's like the end of an era. Or the beginning of an even more awesome era. All I know is whatever comes next is going to be perfect. How do you know that? With you guys by my side, how could it not? Ha, 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 ha!